Hey everybody, we're back for round two of Wacky Wednesday number 48, Legacy Cube Sealed, this crazy format. We uh, got lucky with the clear Kiki Jiki Splinter Twin Pester might plan last time, but we're going to join another queue and see uh, what another pool looks like. See if it uh, has a clear plan or if we're going to be a little bit more fumbling around. Uh, so, what do we got? We've got... Um, so, it, it's kind of weird because you're looking for bombs in a pool of primarily nothing but bombs. Uh, I guess removal might actually be part of the help. So Journey to Nowhere, I always forget about Journey to Nowhere. Journey to Nowhere is, is Oblivion Ring? What's the difference between it and O-Ring? So Banishing Light hits permanence. Does O-Ring hit permanence? Yeah, O-Ring hits permanence, doesn't it? So Journey to Nowhere is one less because of that. Uh, Journey to Nowhere, Banishing Light, both quite good. We've got an Elish Norn, which would have been awesome if we had more than... Well, I guess Champion, Mother of Rune, Student of Warfare, Monastery Mentor. I guess that's actually decent, and with Martial Coup, in fact. So maybe we've got kind of a white... Angel of Serenity doesn't quite fit in there just yet. Uh, maybe if we... Maybe we can get like a low, 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 low creature uh, Elish Norn kind of deck going on, perhaps. Uh, Ancestral Vision, of course, is decent. Delver's quite good. Ponder, fine. Day is good. Um, negate, think twice. Dissipate, control magic. All right, so the blue is relatively weak here. Um... I see a lot of low casting cost green and white as well. Do we have any white multicolored cards? Sin Collector, Verdict Venzer. But the blue is really weak. Uh, what do we have for artifacts so don't forget about those? Ooh, Ulamog. Um, we'll see Ulamog pretty soon in Battle for Zendikar. Mere Sphere, or Mere Battle Sphere, uh, Good Old Lotus Batter Skull, Simulacrum fits in basically every deck. Uh, Mindstone, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, so black. We've got some hand disruption. Bitter Blossom uh, could go decently with uh, Elish Norn getting, what, 3-3 three, three fairies? Plus 2, plus 2? Yeah. Getting 3-3 three, three fairies every turn. Uh, ultimate Price. Bone Shredder. Yeah, Bone Shredder is quite good. Attrition. Sack a creature, destroy a target non-black creature. Well, it goes... Very well with Bitter Blossom, doesn't it? Um, Frexian Arena. When you rip, keep a draw card, lose a life. Consuming Vapors. Track player sacks creature, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Rebound, pretty decent. Graveborn Muse. When you rip, keep you draw X cards, and you lose X life, or X is the number of zombies you control. Won't be too much going on there. Necrotal is decent. Shriek Maw. A lot of good black removal. I kind of like the idea of black white here. Sin Collector helps that out. Uh, that's one of the vampires that was put in for Vampire Tribal. Uh, Massacre Worm might be a little bit hard to cast. Red, we've got uh, a bunch of little dudes. Goblin Guide, quite good. Mog Fanatic, decent enough. Pillar would go in. Lightning Mauler would go in. Magma Jet would go in. Skullcrack, don't really like it as we saw last time around. Uh, Flame Tongue, yes. Chandra Nalar, one to target player. X to target creature. Ah, oh, she's fine. What's in green? We've got Jiraga. We've got, um, Oracle. Frailies. Baloth. Hornet Queen. There's kind of a, there's a slight ramp deck there with the Frailies. The Jiraga, the Oracle. Not a huge ramp deck. But there is a slight ramp deck there. I think I want to go base black white. I think I want to go base black white. So we'll look at what we've got there and then uh, continue on. Faith Sweaters, of course. Um, Flicker Wisp, do we have anything to take advantage of that with? Not. Bone Shredder. We'd have to repay the echo cost, but we'd get another trigger. Necrotal, we'd get another trigger. Shriek Maw, we'd get another trigger. So yeah, I can see Flicker Wisp B 
being a thing in here. Sin Collector, of course. So that's 19, and then we can look at what we can splash with our lands. We've got Isolated Chapel. Marsh Flats is black white, right? Yes, it is. Um, well, all right, black white, black white lands everywhere. Um, flooded Strand would help us splash blue. Uh, black green, so we could splash green. We can very much splash green. Anything worth splashing that really goes with this? Uh, let's move these lands back for a second. Uh, well, we could splash Vraska. We could splash Vraska. What about artifacts? Uh, Solemn Simulacrum. We saw that, right? There we go. Um, 11 creatures? I wouldn't mind Batter Skull. Ulamog's a little bit out. Um, ba -ba -ba, Luxodon, Warhammer, I'd like to have a little bit more creatures to be playing equipment. Um, hmm. Kind of want two more cards. I guess Mindstone's fine. And I guess we could just play Massacre Worm, right? It's probably the best choice. I guess I want to be playing Inquisition, don't I? Sure do. Um, 11 creatures, but Bitter Blossom. And we're pretty hefty on the uh, the removal, which would help out. So yeah, you know, you know, I think I think I'm okay with a little bit being a little bit light on creatures. So we'll go with this. We'll go with this. Uh, we'll go with those in lands. No splash. Add the rest of the lands. Six eight sounds good, and we'll see how this deck goes. The Elish Norn Marshall Coup Black Removal Creatures deck. I guess it's called, but I'll we'll see you guys when this round starts. It looks like our opponent isn't quite ready. All right, here we are. We've won the die roll. We're going to play first and uh, see what we got. Well, we got Student of Warfare, Journey to Nowhere, no black land, but plenty to draw. I guess I'll keep and we can level up the student. Seems fine. Seems fine. Just as long as our opponent doesn't combo out or anything, we should be okay for a little bit. So we can drop our student. Our student can become a 3-3 first strike next turn, uh, barring anything else happening. Uh, but then we need to hope a little bit for a swamp or a scrubland or an isolated chapel or anything, really. Oh, so much for the plan. Goodbye, student of warfare. Well, that planes would have been nice to uh, continue leveling him up. But no such luck. Red, black. Mog War Marshal, you got it. So it's when it uh, exits the battlefield, enters the battlefield, or dies. Enters the battlefield, or dies. Okay, so I could turn it into nowhere. But I'm not a huge, not, you know, super concerned about goblin tokens. Um, play Bone Shredder. Kill the War Marshal right now. Block a goblin. Not even have to pay the uh, echo cost. No. Let's save that for a real threat. Let's exile the War Marshal. Uh, and then get smacked with a 1 1 goblin for a bit. So Necrotal kills. Non artifact, non black. Okay. Oh no, hit me for one. You got it. Hey, Necrotal can come down. Um, well. Well, well, well. Yeah, I still want to save those for big threats. Still want to save those for big threats. Take one. You got it. Of course, he's going to have black creatures, actually, which is really bad now, isn't it? Ooh, Perforos. That's problematic. That is problematic. Um, it's a three-two fear. Yeah, I guess I'll just cast it. 
Kill off his goblin. <laughs> it really hurts that my removal is going to be bad against him depending on how many black creatures he's playing. What do we got now? Don't be black. Don't be black. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kill my Shriek Ma. You got it. Inquisition of Kozilek. Well, let me see what you got. Anything? Anything three or less? Uh, ooh, Ugin. What's he at? Uh, three, four, five. Three more turns, we'll see Ugin come down. We have to hit the Courser. Uh, he does have a Stoke as well that is online. So, I don't think we have a way to beat Ugin outside of Banishing Light. Which is a little bit gross. But, he doesn't have any land, so he's stuck waiting to draw them. So that gives us time. That gives us time. Oh, there's a land. Uh, so, I mean, maybe we just have to Marshal Coup and get some creatures going, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's get ourselves three one ones. No point wasting time here. <sighs> he drew a land. So if he draws another one, Ugin's coming down. Ugin will be coming down. In for three. Don't play a land, please. Yay, no land. Beetleback Chief. Enters the battlefield. Two one one goblins. You got it. You got it. That hit players or can I hit creatures too? Just two opponents, okay. Yeesh. Down to the twelve, down to the ten. Let's uh Yeah, let's kill that chief. Man, I need Elish Norn. Need Elish Norn like now. Let's kill a goblin. He either draws the land and plays Ugin or doesn't. Are you going to tap some goblins to use your stoke? You are indeed. You got it. Dead Necrotal. Dead Goblin. In for three. So he has Ugin in hand. Ugin in hand. Hits me for one. Didn't draw the land or play the land right away. I assume he would have if he drew it. Uh oh. Oh, oh, he's just pumping up the creature. I see. Yeah, sure thing. Hit me for three. You got it. Flicker Wisp doesn't do me much good. Actually, I guess it does just kill the goblin, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, let's Flicker Wisp. Dead goblin. In for three. So he's got Ugin and an unknown non-land card. And an unknown card, period. Go for the throat. Pass the turn. All right. Sin Collector. That hits... Oh, it only hits instant or sorceries. All right, so what do you have with Ugin? It's got to be an instant or sorcery, right? Or a Mox Diamond, you know, one of the two. So he's got a Mox Diamond and an Ugin. You got it. Mox Diamond and Ugin. So 
So we take him to eight. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three. So Bone Shredder just playing it out doesn't really quite get us there. Draw that land, play that Ugin. There it is. We're dead. We're dead. We're super, super dead. Unless we top deck a Banishing Light. Top deck a Banishing Light. It's going to minus three, I assume. Oh, he's even going to get back. Oh, he's even going to get back the Mog. Oh, and I'm going to get pinged for four. Harsh. And then Ugin can just... Lightning bolt me. Mother of runes. Ain't going to do it. Good game. <laughs> Good game. He got there. Uh, yeah. I think I like the deck. I think we just needed a little bit more going on. Um, what's Massacre Worm do exactly? When it enters the battlefield, they get minus two, minus two. Whenever a creature opponent controls dies, that player loses two life. Eh, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Um, I really like Duress. I really like Duress coming in. Maybe even better than Inquisition? No. Nah, nah. Maybe better than the Condemn. Yeah, better than the Condemn, I think. I think we'll just go with this and see how we do. See how we do. All right, we're back in. We're going to play first and see if we can get something else going on here. Again, white, white. But we've got Journey. We've got Banishing Light. Uh, it's not the best, but I'll keep it. Not the best, but I'll keep it. We can Banishing Light is Ugin. Banishing Light is Perforos. Those are our options. Or we could just never see another land. It's possible. It's entirely possible. Turn one. Nothing. Awesome. Come on, Swamp. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Next turn, we probably Sin Collector. I think we Sin Collector. A scavenging Ooze. You got it. You got it. Mr. Flicker Wisp. Yeah, let's Sin Collector. Let's see what he's got. He's got... One single more land. No instant or sorceries whatsoever. And we're going to see a Wood Elves come down next turn. Maybe a Corsair. No, not a Corsair. Yeah, we're going to see a Wood Elves come down. And then we're going to have a Hunt Master. That's going to be problematic. So keep the Bone Shredder for the Hunt Master. For sure. For sure. What elves? What elves? Go and get yourself a forest. Uh, what's... Yeah, just a forest. Okay. No dual land or anything fancy going on. No attack. Sounds good. Sounds good. Miss Elish Norn. And uh, a whole bunch of lands required before she's going to come down. Uh, so. So, so, so. I think I just want to journey to nowhere the ooze. Yeah, let's just journey to nowhere the ooze. And pass the turn. And then we will have the Huntmaster come down, I assume, this turn. Which we can bone shredder it. Oh, there's going to be Corsair instead. Corsair's going to come down instead. What's on top of your library? Terminate. Terminate. Young Pyromancer. You got it. You got it. So in his hand is a Huntmaster and a Beetleback Chief. Huntmaster and a Beetleback Chief. Um, I'll take one. Huntmaster and a Beetleback Chief. Oof, Bitter Blossom. So close to uh, 
being able to get all that going on. I will, I think, just drop Bone Shredder, kill off the Pyromancer. Yeah, let's do that. Bone Shredder, kill off the Pyro. Well, it's whenever you cast any instant or sorcery spell, you get a 1 1. It's not terribly worrisome. No, let's kill the Corsair. And pass the turn. So, Terminate Huntmaster Beetleback. Terminate Huntmaster Beetleback. Okay. Um... Will I pay the echo cost for Bone Shredder? Um, I don't super want to, no. Hey, there's a plains. Beautiful. So, I guess we can Bitter Blossom and hope we get a swamp next turn and start having fun with attrition. We could also bounce the Sin Collector and see what that other... Or no, he's got to terminate, right? Yeah, he's got to terminate. And that's when it enters the battlefield. Now it would give him a chance to respond. Yeah, let's just play Bitter Blossom. Pass the turn, see if he wants to terminate my Sin Collector. Yep, he does. Goodbye, Sin Collector. Hello, Elemental. And I'll take four to the face. Forward of the face, down to 15. And then, will we see the Beetleback? Will we see the Huntmaster? I think we'll see Huntmaster. Yeah, we will. Get yourself a wolf. Get myself a 1 1 fairy. Champion. Yeah, let's play the champion. Let's exile the Huntmaster. And pass the turn, I suppose. Well, without drawing the lands that we need, we are on turn 7 with 4 lands, but without drawing them, we're not going to get Elish Norn out to get uh, considerable stuff going. In with a whole bunch of things. Well, let's get rid of the Elemental. And let's get rid of that, because I don't really have other humans. Play your Beetleback Chief. Beetleback Chief. Man, I would love some mass removal. You know, for example, Elish Norn. White, white, one, two, three. Well, I need two more. So I could Flicker Wisp, get rid of the wolf. Yeah, let's do it. Goodbye, wolf. Still not sure if I'm going to survive long enough for uh, Bitter Blossom to not just hurt way, way more. Oh, I'm going to get stoked. Oh, no. Flicker Wisp is going to get stoked. Sure. Well, I think the deck would have been better if we had lands earlier. Keeping the two lander was probably a bit risky. Probably a bit risky. Ouch! Ouch! Well, we've got to block the aristocrat. And he can just sack whatever to make it indestructible. Ouch! So we're going to go to five with nothing on board. Go to four with nothing on board after Bitter Blossom. Ah, ouch. Down to five. Draw a land. White, white. One, two, three, four. One short. That sucked. 
That sucked a lot. So I can't even kill the Falcon Wrath because it's black. I guess I can block the Falcon Wrath. Sack the fairy. Kill that. Go to one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just dead, but I can buy myself a turn. I can buy myself a turn. Block the aristocrat. Kill Beetleback. Take three. Go to two. Bitter Blossom, go to one. And we don't even get the land. Um, yep. That's going to be a good game. That's going to be a good game. Yep, good game. That hurts. Let me guess. Land on top. Yep, there it is. Well, that hurt. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think the deck wasn't great. I was kind of banging on Elish Norn and uh, keeping a two-lander when our plan is to get to seven lands. Probably wasn't the best. But that was Legacy uh, Cube Sealed. Very interesting. Massively difficult to build. I would have to practice the heck out of that to really get a handle on it. Uh, uh, cube drafting isn't too hard to get your head around, but cube sealed is really interesting. Uh, interesting to see it being a, a high level event uh, on Magic Online this month as well. Uh, it was fun. It's unfortunately only around uh, until tomorrow or today if you're watching the video on Wacky Wednesday. Um, so I kind of hope it comes back. I would definitely like to play this in the future. It was very, very, very fun. Um, uh, if it didn't take quite so long to uh, set up and record, I'd do a, a third round. Uh, but I do ho definitely hope to see this back. It was very fun. It certainly fits the... Uh, uh, the purview of Wacky Wednesday. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Manaleek. That's L E E K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Manaleek. You've already found me here on YouTube. You've got the comment section down below. Let me know if you gave this a try. Uh, let me know if you want to give this a try. It's a fantastic, uh, albeit massively difficult to figure out format from my experience so far. Uh, but yeah, make use of that comment section. I love interacting with you and seeing you guys interact with each other down there. As well, if you like the videos, you should click that little thumbs up icon. That lets me know that you like the videos, the world know that you like the videos, and keeps my videos rising up through the ranks. Finally, if you haven't subscribed, you should. There's a link below each video. There's a link in the outro of each video. Clicking those buttons will keep you subscribed to my channel and let you know as soon as Wacky Wednesday is published, Spiky Saturday, Crack a Pack Tuesday, and any and all other videos that pop up here or there. Finally, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all next.